with your name on it. Amen. How many of you really believe that this morning? God got to bless you. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, the one who laid us down last night. Lord, as we slumbered and slept, you had your angels to watch over us. But then early this morning, you commissioned them that there was another day for us to give you some praise and some thanksgiving. And for that, we want to tell you thank you. God, not just the last night only, but God, we thank you for the distance you brought us from. Every day hadn't been easy. Every trial hadn't been light. But God, we thank you that we are victorious. Because your word declares that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And even though sickness and trials and sadness and disease have come our way, God just still kept us. And for that we want to tell you thank you. And Lord, I pray now that you let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight in Jesus' name. And the children of God shall say amen. 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 Look with me this morning briefly to Mark's writing, chapter 4. Mark, chapter 4, verses 35 through 41. Mark, chapter 4, verses 35 through 41. Y'all going to pray with me? Amen. Amen. Mark chapter 4, verses 35 to 41 says, That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along, just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up and the wind, the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind and said to the waves, peace, be still. The wind died down and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. The word of God for the people of God Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. Y'all going to pray with me? Amen. Focusing mainly this morning on that 35th verse. And that 35th verse says, as evening came, yeah. Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross over to the other side of the lake. Uh -huh. And I, if the Holy Ghost allow, we're going to use for our subject this morning, it's time uh, to cross over. It's time. If you need a subtitle, it's just simply time to move. Amen? So many times in our lives, we get complacent and so comfortable with certain things and situations that we are either afraid to move or we just don't want to move. I've learned that a lot of what we are asking God for is right within our reach. Amen. But because we are so afraid to move, to simply reach up and grab it. Yeah. And I've come to the glorious, on this glorious Sunday morning, to remind us is, is that as a church, we and a body of believers, the time has come for us to move. Yeah. And I'm not talking about anything physically. I want you to know this day, Holy Trinity and all those who are attached to us, 
there is something greater for us. Yeah. But we have to move to the other side. Yeah. Yes, we've got to move from sorrow to celebration. Yeah. We've got to move from excuses to expectation. Yeah. We have got to move, help me somebody, yeah. from Handicap Boulevard to Healing International. Yeah. We have to move from being bitter to being better. Yeah. We've got to move from being pew warmers to praise worshipers. Yeah. It's time to move. I'm a firm believer that we are living in a season where our faith in God is being tested. Yeah. We are living in a season where God is observing to see if he can trust us with what he's already blessed us with. Yeah. You know the scripture that was read. Jesus told his disciples to cross over to the other side. Uh -huh. It was getting late in the evening and he was letting them know that it was time to move. Uh -huh. And when they got in the boat, the human side of Jesus had to take a, a, a little rest, a little nap, a little sleep break. And while he was doing this, his disciples ran into some rough weather. Uh -huh. uh, the storm began to rage. The winds picked up and, 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 and they picked up in their speed and they started getting a little nervous and a little scared. But all oh, to have Jesus on board can make a difference in your life. The scripture says that they went to the bottom of the boat and began to wake up Jesus because they thought they were going to die. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Now, some of us, we don't know how to call on Jesus as long as the bills are paid. We don't know how to call him yeah. when our health is intact. Yeah. We don't know how to call him when things are going well in our lives. We don't know how to call him when our bills are paid on time. We don't know how to call him when we've got more cars in the driveway than we can drive. But oh, when trouble comes, it seems like we call on Jesus like we never called on him before. But I've come to find yeah. out if you call on him in the good times, yeah. if you call on him on the bad times, yeah. if you send up your timber, everything is going to be all right. Can I get a witness now? Ma? Let me remind you, storms have come in your life. And every storm that came in your life didn't come to destroy you. Some of them came to strengthen you. You see, brothers and sisters, you don't need to complain about the storm. You need to tell the storm who you serve. Oh, y'all missed that one. Yeah, 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 I missed that one. Don't sit there and have a pity party because you're going through the storm. You don't have to sit there and feel sorry for yourself because you're having problems. But what you need to do is tell your problem who Jesus is. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Because my Bible says that at the name of Jesus, Jesus. at the name of Jesus, at the name of Jesus, Jesus. and nobody can say Jesus. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. If I had at least three people praying with me this morning, you you got to realize that trouble don't last always. You, you got to realize that the storm that you're going through is only temporary. You, you got to understand that it's time to move. Ah, 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 ah. Some of you, some of you, some of you, some of you, some of you are blocking the blessings of other people. Oh, Reverend Holmes, you just messed me up. Right. The choir just saying God got a blessing yeah. with my name on it. Yeah. But yeah, there's some folks who refuse to get out of the way. Can I get a witness? Yeah. There's some folks who just want to be lazy. Yeah. They just want to be confusion makers. So I ain't getting no help up in here, Holy Ghost. They just want to be in the midst of stirring up trouble. Can I get a witness? Yeah. But I, I come to tell you this morning, it's time to move because there's a shift in the atmosphere. And there's a shift in your life and there's a shift in my life. And I come to tell you that the storms of life are going to rage. And, and sometimes you feel like giving up. And sometimes you can't tell your night from day. And I'm talking to myself this morning. But, but I come to tell you if you just hold on just a little while longer. Because the Bible says that Jesus came up on the shore. And Jesus said, why are you all acting like this? Why, why are you running back and forth? Why, why are you afraid? Oh, you have such little faith. But I come to tell you this morning, if you just shake up to wake up. Uh, if you just shake yourself and realize that I'm blessed this morning. But it's time for a move. It's time for you just showing up to church and start doing church. It's time for you just to stop having your name on the roll and make the roll who you are. Can I get some help up in here? It's time for just praising God and cussing one another. It's, it's time to stop talking about people. It's time to stop talking about the gospel. It's, it's time for us to stop being backbiters. It's time for us to stop realizing that you didn't make it where you are by yourself. It's by the grace.
grace of God. Oh God, get some help up in here. It's time, it's time, it's, it's time for a move. It's time for us to come off a pity boulevard and realize that you're blessed. How many of you know that you're blessed this morning? If I can get at least two people to say, Pastor, I'm blessed. How many of you know God didn't have to wake you this morning? God didn't have to shake you this morning. But you up in your right mind. Can I get another hallelujah? Can I get another thank you, Jesus? Has the Lord been with you? Has the Lord made a way for you? Has the Lord provided for you? It's time to move. It's time for you to make a move. It's time for you to get up, broaden your shoulders, straighten your back, pull your head up, and say, Lord, I thank you. It's time for a move. You don't have to move long. You don't have to move strong. I want to move, but I got bad circumstances. Can I get a witness? Don't leave me, Walter. Pastor, I'm ready to move, but I ain't financially stable. Pastor, I'm ready to move, but I'm not secure in my step. Pastor, I'm ready to move, but I got some insecurities. But I come out and tell you, God said, can I get a witness? God said, if he is for you, who can be against you? Can I get a witness? God has a calling on your life. And when God calls, you got to answer. Can I get a witness? Won't God make a way? I say, won't God make a way? When God gets ready, regardless what you're going through, regardless what it seems like, when God gets ready, you got to move. Won't God do it? ready for a move? How many of you ready for a shift? How many of you tired of just getting over? But you want to be abundantly blessed? Yeah! Yeah! How many of you ready to be the head and not the tail? Am I preaching to myself this morning? How many of you ready to be the lender and not the borrower? How many of you ready to be blessed when you come in and when you go out? How many of you ready how many of you ready for the next elevation? Yeah, but you got to let go and let God. Won't God do it? If there's anybody here other than the preacher, the Lord has done something for you. If the Lord has made a way for you, you ought to open your mouth, you give it your mask on, and tell God thank you. You ought to praise Him. You are a praiser for what he's done. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give you just a little test, and I wanna see if you can pass the test. Won't God do it? I say, won't God do it? Preacher, what's the test? The question is, if the Lord ever done anything for you, you ought to tell him thank you. finish it. When I think, I say when I think, I say when I think, I say when I think, that's the test y'all. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he does for me. My soul, I need two more people to stand up on your feet and say, Pastor, I'm ready for a move. I need at least one more person to say, Pastor, Move. If my family don't want to move, I'm ready. I need a move in my household. I need a move on my 
have a church home. We extend it to you right now. As a pastor, I want to be a part of this ministry. Then maybe you can say, Pastor, I know who he is. I know what he's able to do. But I need just a little bit more prayer. I need just a little more strength. The altar is here today. Don't you worry about anybody else. Don't you look at anybody else. If you need the strength to make a move, once you come to the altar, if you need the strength to make the next step to get closer to God, once you come to the altar, if you need the courage to make the next move, once you come and ask God to do it, bless your God. Bless your God. We have not because we ask not. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Falling in love with Jesus. Falling in love right now that you do a mighty work within us. 
God, you know that there are so much gifts within this congregation. And God, I just ask right now that you touch their hearts and minds, that they'll be moved by you, that they may do what you call them to do. God, we ask now that where there's doubt, that you give us the, re the re reaffirmation that it's already done. And God, where there's troubled minds, God, we ask that you give us peace. And God, I ask now that you look at our sick family members wherever they may be. And God, you know what they stand in need of. God, you know the healing that they desire. And God, you know what their bodies stand in need of. Touch right now, God. Touch right now, God. As far as one from the other, God, we just ask that you bless them. Keep their mind focused on you. And God, every Sunday you answer in my prayer. Thank you. You're returning your children back to your service. Thank you. God, I just ask now, I'm not going to stop praying, God. There's some more that I need you to bring back Thank into you. the house. That they may be with the saints and that we can give God praise. Yeah. We can give God the honor and the glory. God, we thank you for the Facebook fans. God, we thank you for teleconference members. God, we just thank you this morning. But God, above all, we just need you to do a new thing with each of us. Yes. Look at those who stepped out this morning. We just ask that you bless them like you've never blessed them before. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 Come on, give God a hand, please. God, don't let them leave like they came. May God bless you and you go expecting God to do a great thing. I know that God is able. Thank you. Thank you. I don't. And I really pray on these things when the Spirit of the Lord directs me to do it because I don't want anyone to ever feel uncomfortable about coming into the house of the Lord. But I want you to know that God sees that which you are going through. Not your issue. Amen. 
they are rich. They are going to be pleased. They're going to feel pushy like she is. But let me tell you, you're already ordained to do what God has called you to do. You may say, Pastor, I just don't do this yet. I'm, I'm still listening. But sometimes God has to allow you to make it. And it will call for him to bless you. So don't worry about the naysayers. Don't worry about those who don't care for you. Because guess what? If you're on Jesus' side, you're in the majority. And I'm telling you what I know. I have to be delivered from people. And I thought that folks didn't care for me. I thought it was something personal. You can't change who God has made you. All you can do is accept what God allows and just tell them you handle your problem. Because I'm okay. Amen. Come on, Saint. Let's give God a hand. Tell them God our Father, we thank you. First of all, we thank you for the submissiveness of your child. Yes, Lord. We thank you for the submissiveness of your child. Who came not knowing what you laid on her pastor's heart to tell her. But God, we ask right now oh, that you strengthen her, that you give her a mind to run on and see what I ah, got. And God, we thank you, God, for the new elevation you're about to do in her life. God, we thank you for the gift that you stirred up this morning, God. And we thank you that the tears have gone from sadness to joy, God. We thank you for what you're about to do in her life. God, we ask now that you speak, God, and we ask that you give her a hug, give her husband the peace that he will understand. It's not always for us to understand, but God is in your hands and we thank you, Lord. And God, as you continue to bless them, God, greater is coming. God, I pray. Claim it in your name. Devil, you are a liar. She will not have a spirit of fear, but of love and a sound mind. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, friends. Come on. Come on, friends. Come on, friends. Come on. Come on, friends. God bless you. Come on, friends. Come on. Come on. Breakthrough's about to happen. Come on, say, come on. Come on, say, the breakthrough is about to happen. Y'all just don't know it. Y'all just don't know it. God's about to do it. God's about to do it. God's about to do it. Come on, say, come on. Come on, that's what it is. Come on. You got it, honey. You got it. It's yours. 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 It's yours.
All you got to do is keep on living. And God will work it out. How many of you have been blessed today in the service? Stand on your feet. Since his name I call in addition to the stones you stay, it won't be long at all. God, we thank you. I thank you for musicians. Thank you for the praise team. God, we thank you for Sister Rose being back in the house this morning. Thank you for Sister Kay back in the house this morning. God, we thank you for your children who you brought back to the safe haven of Holy Trinity. God, we ask now that you strengthen us for the journey. Be with us, guide us, and direct us. And God, I want to thank you that I've been obedient to what you've asked of me to do, God, because you're sending blessings my way. And I want to thank you for that. God, I thank you for being the pastor of this charge. Because, God, I thank you. It's all right now. And now, may your grace, your peace, your love, and your understanding with us now, henceforth and forevermore. And the children of God shall say amen, 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 amen. and amen. amen. God bless you as you exit. Our musicians will give you some exiting music. Something to let us be happy, feeling good. And so as if you just gather quickly, then we won't be long. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you.